Hey everybody. So I am doing another update to the Castle Ravenloft, the Dungeons & Dragons miniature adventure game series that I started quite a while ago. Um, and this is the Howling Hag. And so it's been quite a while. Um, and so for those of you that are were liked this series, I, thanks for sticking with the channel. Um, I apologize, but I am going to continue doing these miniatures and throwing them here and there in between my other projects that I'm doing and continue and complete that Castle Ravenloft series. And so, like the original format that I used to do, I, at the end of the video, will have a picture of the miniature in various stages from prime all the way to varnishing at the end, and I'll show all the paints that I used. Um, for now, I'll just spin this around and kind of show how she looks. So I didn't, I was, I didn't go for a really dark scheme, which I think it would lend to, but um, I kind of looked at a lot of how people paint this mini um, on like Google Photos and things like that, and I just wanted to do something a little bit different, um, in particular using the purple on the um, sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, the thing that she has over her dress just sort of around the top there, it adds a bit of color, um, but I did still stick with an overall fairly drab looking scheme. Um, not, you know, I, it's not a bad mini. Um, I've talked about what I've thought of the qualities. I mean, these are board game pieces, and so the type of plastic that they use are a little bit different than what I paint now, usually the types of resin, but um, I think the one thing is just the broomstick being a bit bent. Um, it's not this many, it's the sculpt and the way it's done. Um, and so I would have preferred it to be a bit straighter, but I do really like the um, some of the detail you can capture on the face. And I'll just show here. There is still quite a bit of detail in there that's kind of nice. Now, um, I'll just mention, I'll show the various stages, but the way I did this is I did do some highlights prior to washes, and you'll, you'll see that um, I show the, the highlights that I did. And one technique that I did um, this time that I don't think I've done on a, another Wrath of a Shardal, or excuse me, Castle Ravenloft, or Wrath of a Shardalon for that matter, is um, when I did my highlights, I used one color, in this case ivory, um, for most of the lightning agent for the highlights. So um, this one I believe you'll see is Bugman's Glow, the GW paint, and I would just do like two to one with the ivory, and then I would do the same for this one, which is I think um, Carax Stone. I actually have it later, but it's, yeah, Carax Stone, and I would use the ivory. I believe I also used the ivory, it'll show in the pictures later, with the purple that I used, just for the the highlighting before the washes. The purpose for that for me was just to try to keep some, um, to do whatever you can to tie the miniature in together, and so if, in this case I was looking for a bit of a faded look, you know, like a worn, weathered look to the material. And so if I'm going to um, do that, I, I used the, the same highlighting agent in color to try to bring them closer together in their highlights just you know as a technique to just tie the model together a bit more um, you'll see for the I've done this before but basically for the um, the stick I actually painted it brown but then I used a glaze of gray over it to give it because oftentimes I think everybody thinks of wood as always being brown but in nature, it's often gray, and the and weather wood is 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 gray, um, and so that's something that I think a lot of beginning painters don't always realize because like we always think of just trees being brown and, and things, and so yeah, I did that for that reason, um, and yeah, so just a little quick uh, one mini for um, Castle Ravenloft. I hope you guys like it, and um, yeah, I will then. Uh, do another one um, in the near future. And so here are the photos of the progression of the painting. Take care everybody.